Welcome back into Unscripted. Time for some Ravens Mailbag. Tweet us using the hashtag Ravens Mailbag, and you can see your question up here on the big screen. Let's get rolling with our first one. After all the offseason talk about Miles Boykin, when will he get an expanded chance in the offense, John? Uh, I think we're getting ready to see it. Uh, I think that is the next step in the development of this offense. The passing game, I think we've seen it dominated so far in terms of targets. Mark Andrews, Hollywood Brown, they're both hurt playing through injuries. It has to happen. There has to be more uh, spreading the ball around. I think it would be a point of emphasis with Lamar going forward. And I think Miles Boykin uh, will benefit from that. And it needs to happen for this offense. Let me put it that uh, up way. Up to this point, Miles basically only catches touchdowns. He's like yeah. Chris Gardner, you know? So, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, there could be worse things. But, uh, you know, crossing routes, I think we can see him get yeah. open and get some receptions here. Yeah. Cody, great question. Thank you. Next up, let's keep it rolling here. This is from Chad Cummings, also known as Chisel 1991. Ooh. What are the Ravens going to do about the lack of pass rush, Ryan? I haven't heard this question at all, either in the training camp <laughs> yeah, or this season. One. Yeah, well, they need somebody to step up. I mean, obviously, Pernell McPhee and Matthew Judon need some help. Pernell McPhee is just playing too much snaps at his age. The Ravens want to get him more rest. The rookie, Jalen Ferguson, is really who they are turning to, the third-round pick. So they need Ferguson to start getting after the passer. He's doing all right. He, he's been fine his first few games, but he needs to get after the passer. They also, I think, need to just de develop some pass rush from other areas. The blitz is not getting home right now. Saw it kind of running up against the wall in Pittsburgh. Some of that's because I'm holding. But <laughs> that pass rush needs to start getting home more. I think some of the changes you've, you've seen at linebacker and some other positions as well, Wink Martindale scheming up, guys getting a little more yep. comfortable in their new roles. I think that could help as well. Yep. All right, question number three. This is for one Luke Jones from Patrick Nicholas. Who's the most likely candidate to wear the defensive helmet the remainder of the season? Obviously, Tony Jefferson out. He had the green dot. Any chance they give it to Earl Thomas, Luke? I think it's a possibility because he plays 100% of the snaps. You need someone out there every snap. So as much as they like to sub and play different packages, it has to be someone that's out there. So we saw Patrick Owasso take over for Tony Jefferson when he left with the injury. So he's a logical candidate. Maybe Josh Bynes. I mean, he's already <laughs> handled so much in a week. Maybe in another week or two he can handle that. That's but here, here's the sleeper. Chuck Clark has been complimented by so many teammates that he is such a smart football player. If he's in Jefferson's role more 100% of the time, yeah, then he could be the guy in that secondary. Well, I think that's kind of the key question there. Is he rotating to Deshaun yeah. Elliott, who, you know, the joker I really like a lot too, Deshaun. So if, if Deshaun's on the field a lot, you know, you have to have somebody with that helmet on. So I, I think Bynes. My vote is for Bynes. It could end up being Bynes too. It'll be something. Yeah. I vote for Earl Thomas because it'd be a great story. All this talk <laughs> about how he's kind of coming into this defense to take over that role would be interesting. Yeah. If you want to see your tweet, your question, keep them coming with hashtag Ravens Mailbag. We'll see if we get it on the show coming up.